rolling, baby. This is for all of you haters out there. Put some shoes on and we'd take you a little more seriously. You can't have a good golf swing without shoes on. Why does this clown not wear shoes in any of his videos? Here's the reason why. And it's very simple, however very strategic. Because there are 16 muscles in the arch of your foot alone. 16 muscles in the arch of your foot alone. Those muscles' main job is to give you arch support. Arch support helps give you balance and stability. There should not be a single person watching this video who does not agree that balance is crucial for an effective golf swing. Balance is one of the most important things for an effective golf swing. So if you don't believe balance is important in the golf swing, you shouldn't be watching my videos and you shouldn't be the peanut gallery commenting on why I don't ever wear shoes. Now think of it this way. When you put your foot into a shoe, you slide it in the shoe. The shoe usually has an arch support. So those 16 muscles in your arch already don't have to do work because they're being supported from that arch support. Then the next thing you do is you take the laces and you snug on them real tight and you tie them in a loop and cinch them down real tight so that your shoe is real supported or your foot is real supported in that shoe. The tighter you lace up your shoe, the less your muscles in your feet have to work. They essentially don't have to work at all. So now imagine this. You're standing on ice. You can wear whatever shoes you want. Just not shoes with spikes, right? Just normal tennis shoes, and you're standing on ice. How good would your golf swing look if you were standing on ice? It'd be real rigid. You'd be like, uh, uh, trying not to slip and fall. Now that's an extreme of what's happening when you put your feet inside shoes and you lace them up. Your brain is going, wait a minute. All of these muscles that I have in my feet that are supposed to be working to give me balance and stability, they don't have to work anymore because they have external support. That's the reason why I like the square shoes so much. Yeah, they're ugly because they got this giant toe box, square toe box, but they allow you to actually splay your foot. So watch my foot. Most, people feet, most people's feet are real narrow. And that's what they look like when you're in a very tightly laced shoe. We want the foot to be able to splay out. So you can see how my foot is much wider now, which gives it the ability to grip the ground. We've all heard this saying, you've got to use the ground reaction force. It's the new crave right now. All the pros on tour are using the ground reaction force to generate all this torque and power. You can't do it if your foot is all boxed up in this little tiny, narrow, stylish shoe, right? Got all these stylish golf shoes out there that are horrible for your feet. Absolutely horrible. So again, I'm not trying to promote squares intentionally. They're, I don't get any kickbacks from it at all. However, what I did do, well, I did my own test on six different pairs of shoes, all golf shoes. And squares was one of them. So what I did was when I got into the shoes, I would go and I would do these very specific tests to test my balance and stability. Squares came out on top because my foot was able to splay. So this is for all you haters out there, the peanut gallery commenting, this clown, you can't take him seriously because he doesn't wear shoes. The reason why I don't wear shoes is because I'm constantly working the muscles in my feet. When I'm constantly working the muscles in my feet and then I go in and put my foot into my golf shoe, the square shoe, which gives it room to splay out, then I can actually utilize the muscles in my shoe during the golf swing. That's what makes it easier and more efficient to do it. But if you're constantly practicing in shoes that are laced up real tight, you never get the chance to work out those muscles. So think about it this way. This should make more sense to all of you haters out there. You can't deny that the more muscles you use during the golf swing should translate to the more power you can generate. There's no denying that. That's simple laws of physics. 
So why would you want to eliminate 32 muscles from the golf swing? 16 muscles in one foot, 16 muscles in another foot. Pretty sure that's 32 the last time I did the math. Why would you want to eliminate 32 muscles that you could utilize in the golf swing? You wouldn't. That's why these shoes are horrible. That's why I don't wear shoes. That's why I'm constantly doing all these drills shoeless. Because shoes are the worst. I wrote a whole entire chapter in my first book, Treating Problems Not Symptoms, that's not related to golf at all. It's all physical therapy related on how bad shoes are. So all you haters out there, let me see your comments now. Comment on it now. Let me hear out how intelligent you sound after I give you the background on why I don't wear shoes. Mike, drop.